many people know, but you went through something pretty pretty major. Yeah, we're coming down to the checkers, coming out the final corner. There they are, the double checkers for Elias Ischel. The Viking Rocket wins in Cannonsburg, Michigan over... To able to do it when a lot of people was uh, doubting me when I kind of changing from uh, from uh, going uh, from boss racing with, uh, with having three championships there in a row and changing team, it was kind of a big decision, but uh, yeah, me and, uh, I did it with, together with Skidoo and uh, I felt we, did, we made a good, uh, uh, good uh, choice and uh, I'm happy where I'm at now. Yeah, I had a bad injury in the last race last year or the, we had a fun race in Austria this summer, uh, late June and uh, uh, I land before I thought I was going to land and uh, my knee went backwards. I was sitting on my sled looking down and I could just see my whole leg bending backwards and my leg is straight out and uh, broke my femur and my leg. Uh, and I ripped off the ACL uh, on the front and uh, I took uh, three ligaments uh, so they needed to uh, uh, and actually the worst thing was that I, uh, I broke uh, or I ripped off the, the hamstring muscle and the leg muscle so uh, the two first months I couldn't even put on my own sock because if I was bending down at the same time uh, uh, they, they were scared that it was gonna uh, rip off again from my knee so uh, uh, from the hospital and everything said that uh, it only needed almost one year from the from the from the from the surgery uh, to I was 100% of course the uh, the timeline they gave me from the Olympics and everything was like uh, you should wait until like uh, May next year so uh, so I was like a couple times there I was like I'm just done I was just like I just can't do it but uh, we made it and uh, I am you know the other thing too is Elias did have that injury this offseason so how much fitness is he lacking in this first round and just uh, be able to win races of course it's uh, it's the best feeling ever and uh, uh, yeah it's uh, I think it's just something I feel that I can't get from something else there so the, uh, the only feel, uh, feeling and I, I only feel that when I go on the sled and do good so big mistake is that uh from his knee injury that he suffered over the summer months. He has more left in the tank. He proved that. And again, he continues to raise the bar, the expectations of himself. And like Josie said earlier, he was not going to settle this race. And that's exactly what he showed us in round two. For sure, my physio, my family, and my friends—they uh, mean a lot from 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 back home and everyone that have been stood behind me to uh, motivate me and uh, yeah, uh, to just spend time with me all the summer and everything. But uh, uh, here in the states, I always, uh, I of course, needs to. Uh, to uh, thank Skidoo and uh, the whole team, Motorsport, for standing behind me, all the sponsors, uh, uh, for they were ready, they trusted me. I always said I was going to be back, and uh, uh, they trusted me in that. Of course, they were like unsure, but uh, uh, they had everything ready, and uh, I can't thanks everyone enough, uh, all the fans too, uh, for standing behind me, supporting me, and uh, it's awesome to see how many that follows the sport and follow me, and super happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. No, thank you. That was actually